Hello, Spiritual View family. It's Marcia again, coming back with your Motivational Monday reading. How is everybody? If you are living in the United States, today is likely a holiday for you. It is Memorial Day, and in the States, it is the unofficial kickoff to summertime. So what a wonderful weekend it has been. We had um, Jupiter come into Gemini over the weekend. And wow, I'm a Saggy, so I just love that beautiful, optimistic energy. And um, let's see. So today, similar to what I've done in the past on Mondays, we are going to just take a sneak peek at the upcoming astrology of the week, <clears throat> kind of check in on what we can expect in that regard. And then we'll pull some Oracle cards. We'll pull some cards for the collective. And then we'll pull a couple cards for each day of the week and see what spirit wants us to know. You know, I was kind of meditating on the astrology coming into this week and just that beautiful interplay of the Jupiter Gemini energy, you know, Jupiter in Gemini really is its opposite energy. So it's at its very far furthest orbit, right? Sag being the opposite sign of Gemini. So things can get out of hand when Jupiter is in Gemini. So I will caution you there, but really what can get out of hand if we're thinking about Gemini is our thoughts, right? So I really want you to lean into the Sagi being the higher octave, you know, pulling back that archer's bow and staying true to the long course of, of what, Sagi, your beliefs. So when you think about it, your thoughts really, in essence, are the children of your beliefs. Um, that's where... They kind of come out to play, don't they? Um, so anyway, just kind of keeping with the fact that since the beginning of this year, your beliefs have likely changed about yourself. You have stepped into your power. We had massive changes with the eclipse energies, dealing with karma right? Shedding that life we were born to, stepping into the life we were born to live, that really is going to continue to play out this week. Um, I'm looking at my notes here. Oh, red Sharpie day on Wednesday. Yes, definitely a red Sharpie day on Wednesday, May the 29th. We have Mars, which is still in Aries, is going to be coming back and touching off on that eclipse point of the North Node in Chiron that happened. So you may be triggered on that day. Um, some core wound may come up again um, for you, you know, and likely it's something that your beliefs have changed. It's causing upheaval and chaos in your outer world. And you just have to, you know, walk through that fire, so to speak, whether it's speaking your truth, leaving relationships that don't serve us, relationships that come back that we don't want to pick up on, or maybe we do. Um, we'll see. Also shedding outdated mindsets still and beliefs. I'm just going to finish shuffling my cards here a little bit. So whatever your core Chiron wound is, it will likely come up um, again on Wednesday. But, you know, let's be real. If you are here, you are likely meant to be a disruptor, right? And that's okay. That energy is uncomfortable. Um, but it's part of your mission and purpose here. So just continue to step into that. The last thing I want to say about the astrology is that we still have Saturn and Neptune working with us all this week. And what is that? That is commitment in Saturn. Commitment to what? Well, commitment to our spiritual story. Story. Neptune, 29 degrees of Pisces, is 
that spiritual story. And Neptune at that degree is a really kind of wild card joker. Um, so kind of brings me back to that Jupiter Sag energy where I'm going to encourage you to keep dreaming big, bigger than you ever have before. Um, continue to step into this life you were born to live um, and cultivating that in our thoughts in this Gemini energy. I mean, if you watched us on the spiritual view episode three, we all kind of talked about the fool's journey and how it following that led to big changes in our life. And my story centered around when I got pregnant and that believe it or not was in the very beginning of my last Jupiter cycle. So I'm coming into a new Jupiter cycle anxious to see what that will bring. Um, but believing that I was really meant to be a parent at the ripe old age of north of 40, I mean, it was crazy and amazing. Okay, let's, oh, wait, one more note before I forget. We had our drawing for the free reading giveaway and Jen drew that and I just wanna to touch on that. Um, the third Friday of the month, we come together in a round circle, and that next event will be on Friday, June 21st. So put a pin in that date. Before then, you want to get subscribed to our channel, and then you will want to like um, and comment on that June 21st video because we had a drawing from the last video and the winner of a free 30 minute reading was Open Minded Reality. So hopefully she and Jen have connected and scheduled that free 30 minute reading. We had 28 entries in that last um, drawing. So chances are good. If you hop in now early, you can also get in the drawing to win that free reading. So again, the next round table will be June 21st. And those are so fun getting together. The six of us now, um, I think some will add in in the future. We'll just see what it brings, but it is just a lovely time when we all get together. Okay, hmm. Oracle cards for the week ahead. Battle of the Blues, take steps towards positive change. Here we go. Look at that lady in the lake. Wow, if the Excalibur um, storyline is not just haunting me these days. <laughs> I love it. Look, the lady in the lake, battle of the blues. Uh, what you need to know is that you have the power to pull that sword right up out of there. Super easy. New day, new thoughts, pull it right up out of the muck and the mud. Mm -hmm. Leadership, set your goals. Stepping right into strength. I just can't help but uh, think about what looking ahead towards, as I mentioned, in the Northern Hemisphere, we have just entered summertime. And this has me looking straight ahead to, towards Lionsgate. I feel like this Jupiter, Gemini, Energy, Venus at play, you know, the next couple of weeks are seriously a summer of love including self-love, radical self-love, raising the vibration of all. Mm -hmm. Lionsgate's going to be very powerful this year. And underneath, we have letting go. Learn to let go. Yeah, almost you, those tiny people of the past, just letting them go. Hear, hearing the call of the future, it's calling you. Yeah, can't be denied. The transformation energy bubbling up from these butterflies leading you on the path. Wow, I love that energy. Paired with the astrology of this week. <clears throat> Battle of the Blues, listen, I think that is going to be that Wednesday hump day energy kind of tripping us up. Do we really have what it takes to take up that sword? I think you do. 
I think you do. Okay, spiritual view. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see how you are showing up this week. I'm going to pull three cards now. One for your energy. One for the opportunity of the week. And one for the challenge of the week. And then we'll pull some cards for each day. All right, last shot. Here we go. How is the collective showing up this week? Love it. Four of Wands. Celebration. Harmony. A real homecoming. I'm telling you, um, it is hard not to feel good when Jupiter is on the move. It is really hard. If you know a Sag, it's eternal optimism. If you've been with me a couple readings now, you've heard me say it. I Mondays are my jam. I love Mondays. <laughs> um, I love mornings. I just am that quintessential optimistic Saggy energy. So collective is showing up, really feeling um, stable, balanced, um, probably having come off some family gatherings um, that felt good over the weekend. Again, like I said, we are on holiday and <clears throat> perhaps in other places as well. Okay. Opportunity of the week, the fool, new beginnings. Wow. Can't make this shift up, people. Taking a leap of faith. Challenge of the week. Woo. Ace of Wands. Okay. Igniting some passion. Maybe, again, feeling like it's a little bigger than what we can surmount. I feel like we'll be overcoming that. We'll see. We'll see what the week brings. Okay. I'm going to lay out the cards here. Hermit. Eight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Six of Wands. And Six of Cups. Wow. I love that. <clears throat> Underpinning each day of the week. Monday, we've got Knight of Pentacles. Tuesday, Queen of Wands. I love it. Wednesday, Nine of Pentacles. Thursday, Eight of Wands. Friday, Justice card. All right, well, let's talk about this. Monday is today, right? I know, I believe the moon is still in Capricorn. So it's probably a day to just um, go inside you know, reliable, stoic work, um, slow and steady, focused on, perhaps focused on being alone. You know, being, uh, celebrations could have happened over the weekend. You've got the day off today. This would be a great day to do the planning and preparation work for the rest of the week. Do your meal prep. Um, maybe even grab a book and go sit in the shade or sit in the sun and just um, contemplate, like I said, that Sagittarius energy of the beliefs are going to plod the way towards the future. On Tuesday, we've got real um, work happening because won't that be the pace of the day? Most of us will be back at work um, mastering our craft. <clears throat> if we're, you know, on the spiritual path, this is just staying focused on um, your spiritual journey, right? Developing the skills, um, raising our standards. And this is underpinned on that day with the Queen of Wands energy. So this could be a very social day, perhaps. Back at work, being a social butterfly, um, exhibiting 
just that wonderful Jupiter energy of self-assured. Aries fire, Leo energy <clears throat> paired with that Virgo. That's a good get back in the saddle and get some work done day. It sounds like I'm going to take a quick drink. <clears throat> Now, interestingly, as we said, Wednesday is going to be that red Sharpie day. Here comes that pain point, that trigger point, five of pentacles. So feeling uh, left out in the cold, lack mindset, um, maybe imposter syndrome, like you've been shut out in the cold. Those fears are going to come up Wednesday and they're going to come up hard and fast. And you're going to lean back into this lovely nine of pentacles because that's the truth of who you are. And step into it. It's going to disrupt people. Mm -hmm. And by Thursday, you don't give a shit. <laughs> I mean, you don't. You can respond to it or not. In this instance, you're not going to respond to this. You're going to level up, right? We're going to be leveling up in the introspection. So nine of pentacles is rewards for our efforts. Mm -hmm. And this is underneath the deck. So we're staying true to our beliefs, knowing our self-worth. Don't give back into this. You will be triggered on Wednesday, but you know your self-worth. Wow, I love that. That's fantastic combative energy to that. Those fears coming up again. And like I said, Thursday, um, feeling self-confident, victorious. You made it through that trigger and that test. And, you know, there may be some fast movement, rapid communications on Thursday. And Friday, like I said, there is um, just that beautiful Saturnian energy of kind of staying true to working on your true self. And so by Friday, we have this wonderful Six of Cups, which is, you know, childhood memories, familiarity from the past. Um, I think this is not necessarily a person coming in because it's underpinned with this justice card. I think this is you really understanding that the nostalgia you feel is for the innocence of the life you're stepping into, the true purpose of you and loving that and feeling it. Yeah, with this justice card, I think that truth is definitely revealed by Friday. Definitely having that. Um, and, and stepping out into the world with it. Like I said, you are a disruptor. You are the disruptor. Speaking your truth. Staying true to your boundaries. Even in the midst of, you know, like immediate intimidating action coming from that fear or whatever it was on Wednesday. But no, you are falling in love with yourself, the true version of who you are, right? That inner child, that mirror back to you in this Gemini time is you. And it's being balanced. Gosh, I love that. That heart chakra just... loving ourselves, balancing ourselves in order that we can project it out for others to see, right? And either guide them, right? Draw them to us. Well, I think, uh, but for maybe a little blip on Wednesday, y'all, we're going to have a fantastic week. 
I am here for it. Okay, so let's get our crystal card for the Wii Eternal Crystal deck. Where did you go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was out of place. What was I thinking? I put it away. I corralled it and used some other Oracle decks that, frankly, I can't use on YouTube because according to the community standards, mm -hmm, they do show some partial nudity in the artwork. I know it's crazy. Uh, and it's too salty, right? Can't use that. Um, <laughs> anywho, let's get a crystal card for the week. Collective. Spiritual View Collective. Let me, let me. Let's see what wants to come out. They're saying pick it up and aerate it here a little bit. Pick them up and aerate them. Who wants to jump out today? Well, thank you once again for having me, Spiritual View family. It's been so fun, as always. And yes, soon enough, I'm going to have my own channel, and you can come visit me there and here and, and all the like. Okay. Labra Labradorite. It's a number 23 card. Listen, if I could go back and talk about astrology, the number of planets who are net five right now, all about change. The 23 card is also a net five card. Again, look at that beautiful energy. It reminds me of the peacock. That energy is all about embracing change as well. And if you ever hear me talk about the peacock, the colors, it reminds me of my grandmother. This is ancestral energy coming in. Third eye chakra. You notice it says there's psychic ability. A lot of people are having that awakening, that pineal gland opening. Getting downloads. Mm continue to go to quiet places look for the signs our ancestors are definitely try to communicate with us and in the third eye this may just be like a, a quick vision a snippet a a memory that is so familiar that deja vu okay be on the lookout for that okay now <clears throat> it wouldn't be a salty mama reading without a sweary affirmation card. So let's close it out with one sweary affirmation card for the collective. What do they need to know to carry them into? Oh, one got stuck. Oh, two got stuck there. Ooh. Wait a minute. Let me look at them. We're going to shuffle them in. We'll see what happens now. If these two popped out again, no. Okay, but I'm going to take these two because these two popped up. Do one thing every day that makes you feel fucking fabulous. Yes, you should. Whatever that is, one thing just for you. Self-love, radical self-love just for you that makes you feel fucking fabulous. Do it. I think we had this one last week. Get up, show up, and show the world you're a fucking legend. All right, let's continue that. Get up, show up, and show the world you are a fucking legend. I can't wait to see what you all do this week. Come back, leave me a comment, uh, like this video, and um, I'll look forward to seeing everybody next week. I think I'm on cue next week. And definitely, I will look forward to seeing you all on our next Friday roundtable, which will be June the 21st. So get yourself subscribed before then, okay? And uh, have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.